A customized flag field is nothing more than just a field that you can customize and create and insert as a column based upon the yes no values. So in other words if it's yes you can have a little icon or indicator like something green saying this is complete or if it's no you can leave it empty or give it a red flag. So to go ahead and set this customized flag field up just come up here click on the tools menu go down to customize and then over and down to fields. We're going to come up here and change the type from text to a flag and of course you can select one of the fields here and click rename and give it whatever name you want like let's say completed and click OK. We're going to keep it simple here and then down below for the values to display it's going to be data but I want some graphical indicators. What kind of graphical indicators do I want? Well I'm going to come up here where it says give me a test click on the drop down arrow where the test we're going to say equals a certain value and what value is that? I'm going to have it as yes. If it equals yes, then I'm going to go ahead and click and click on the drop down arrow for the image and say if it's yes, it's completed. And let's give it a green circle or there's got to be something more here. A green flag, that's nice. Diamonds, lights. How about a happy face? We like happy faces. If it equals no, then boy, we would be in the frownies, wouldn't we? That's it. All we have to do is go ahead and click OK, click OK then insert that field as a column here so go ahead and right click at the top of any column header go down to insert column and as you recall in the previous training video when we created the custom text field you can either type in the first letter of the name of the field that you created which in this case is going to be complete type in the letter C there it is completed flag or you can type in the letter F takes us to the F's and of course we have to scroll down to our flags and there it is flag one completed select either one click OK Oh, look at all the frowny faces that haven't been completed. And the reason why that is is because, well, by default it's going to give us a no until we come in here and change it to a yes. It's been completed. Yes, it's been completed. Yes, it's been completed. This does nothing over here in the Gantt chart. Again, it's just a graphical indicator for you that you can keep an eye on here. I mean, if you've got a big project and you can't really tell if they're completed, I mean, you're not looking at the indicator column or using it for something else besides the task being completed, Whatever it means to you, just know that you can do that. And to get rid of this, of course, you can always hide it, but if you want to delete and remove the uh, completed field altogether, come up here, click on the Tools menu, go back to Customize, and of course, over to your fields. By default, it pulls up the text type. We want to change it to the flag. Select your flag, delete it, click Yes, click OK, and in its place are the values, in which case we don't care about them. We can just ignore them by right-clicking and hiding the column and not worrying about that uh, flag field again. Unless, of course, we want to reuse it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.